James. He's also a Spurs fan. Good morning, James. <laughs> Cut him off immediately. <laughs> Away the lads! Away the lads! Oh, you know what? That's Jamie O'Hara, isn't it? That is Jamie O'Hara. What are you lot doing to me this morning? <laughs> God, it's so annoying. I just knew it. I just knew it. Arsenal get battered everywhere they go. Morning, Woodsy. You are unbearable. You are unbearable at the best of times. All right, listen. Trust me. I'm going to say one thing. Do not count your chickens too early, Jamie O'Hara. Oh, it's over, Laura. It's over. We only need a point. You've absolutely bottled it. I told you. Your rallying cry. Everything you give to me yesterday on the show went down in flames. They absolutely crumbled. I've just gone into Tesco, Benty, to find some apple crumble. And they've run out because Arsenal have took it all. It's a shambles. This is dreadful. Did you write all these lines <laughs> yeah, down no, no, before no, no, you no. came on? He's got them written down. <laughs> He's literally got them all written down, doesn't he? Did you stay up all night last night, Jamie O'Hara? <laughs> oh, I love it. I can't believe we've got two Arsenal fans on. Absolutely amazing. Brilliant. If my morning couldn't get any worse, uh, Jamie I'm O'Hara right. on Talks They just took it over the edge. Morning, I have to say, just Laura, right a very saucy, uh, very saucy interview. That, that Spurs fan, he was... Uh, no, Jay, you you can't even believe anything that he was saying. Yeah, though. which part did you disagree with, Jamie? Well, I mean, the small club mentality I disagreed with. That's yeah, true, because it was I only mean, a couple of months ago you were saying that Arsenal were a bigger club than Spurs. They are. They are a bigger club. There we and, go. Know, and that's why it's even more uh, amazing that you folded right at the death. I mean... Don't make, I mean, don't I, make me go Laura, through the I'm argument talking. again. Yeah. <laughs> Jamie, don't make me do it again. Laura, I told you yesterday, Arsenal were going to crumble. The, the North London derby had absolutely nothing to show. Newcastle last night played like a Champions League club. Come on. You're, you, you know, you, all right, stick up for him. It hasn't been a disaster of a season. It hasn't. If they finish with it, it's not a disaster. Would you call it, Jelly, would you call it fail, failure? <sighs> Arsenal were eighth last season. Rock bottom after three games. I would, I would say it's progression. But when you look at what they've spent, when you look at the fact they haven't had European football, and when you look at the fact they had two games left and Champions League is in their destiny, and they've thrown it away. I think the players will say they failed. So whether whether over the grand course of it next year, season you got Europa League, all right, it's, it's you know it's not Champions League, but it's still Euro- European football. You say okay, well done. But the players will be sat there at the end of the season and the manager, and they will 100 percent think they failed. Yeah, but they will. I know I know exactly what you're saying, Jay. They're basically like they they looked at themselves last night. Granite Xhaka came out and said the same thing, and they are absolutely gutted that they threw it away because it was in their hands. A hundred percent, numerous times this season they did throw it away. But I still go back to what we said a few months ago in your predictions at the beginning of the season. Where did you think they were going to finish? Did you think they'd be anywhere near top four? No, no. And but they're not going to be in the top four. So that you know, you, you, I said Europa League football. That might be where they finish. But if you, I mean, Granite Jacker last night, Benty, come on. I mean, you know, that's your that's your player that you, you, you talk about. And he's coming out, digging out the players. No, he, he wasn't. No, he, he wasn't. Has he forgot that he got sent off how many times this season and cost his team? And they're running around for how many minutes on, on 10 men? And then he's got the cheek to come out and say, if you haven't got the, if you can't handle pressure, don't bother turning up. Yeah, he's not, he's not digging out individuals. Is, is, is I don't, that's a joke. That that's not, a joke. That's not what I'm he's sorry, doing, that Joe. Is a joke. That's not what he was doing. He's, he was asked the question about it, whether or not it's because they're a young team. And he basically made, he basically was saying, there are no excuses. You have to be up for a game like this. It doesn't matter if you're old or young. That's what he was what saying. the excuses when he got sent off almost every week and his team were playing with 10 men and Arteta standing there with his head in his hands. Yeah, now he's all had... Of a sudden he comes back, puts in a few good performances and he comes out after a game and says, that sort of nonsense. Get, I mean, come on. That's, you talk about leaders. You got rid of a Bamiang. He's banged in how many goals for Barcelona? Are you Piers Morgan? <laughs> are you are you Piers Morgan? Shall we shall we rerun this argument on Aubameyang and why he wasn't good for the club? You're just you're just saying there. You're digging out Granite Xhaka for not setting a good example for youngsters, and you're using an example of Aubameyang as a good example yeah. for youngsters. Aubameyang would have scored you goals. He, 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 he didn't score goals. He didn't score goals. Yeah, but he, he wasn't before he left. He didn't score goals. When was the last time you he actually watched an Arsenal game? He, because Granite Xhaka has been the most consistent towards the end of the season. Yeah, brilliant. You what? If you knew. Granite Jack has been one of the most consistent. Yeah, of course you can go back to those red cards and all that sort of thing. Aubameyang wasn't scoring goals. And if you want to use the number that, that Piers Morgan was using, their Europa League games against 
teams or, or Carabao Cup games against teams that they should be scoring four or five goals against, so it doesn't count. He wasn't good for you the got club. got four Premier League goals this season. Four. Mm. Yeah, well, he's gone to La Liga and done it, so, you know, Arteta's doing something wrong. At the end of the day, last night was, was nowhere... The last two games, Benty, you know, as a football player, you've been there, you've done it at the top level. That was That's nowhere near good enough. You can get beat, Benty. You can get beat. You know, fair enough, you play against the better side, you get beat. But the manner of them last two defeats, Arsenal fans will be absolutely seething. They didn't even they haven't showed up in a North London derby. And then you've gone to Newcastle away. Well, it's still in your hands to win the Champions League. And you've absolutely folded like a deck of cards. It's embarrassing. I just it's love like, I just love all these Spurs the fans coming out and talking about folding. Shocking. Talking about folding. <laughs> does, you know what, Jay? Like, we'll let you have this one. We'll let you gloat. Because what was it you always used to say to us that top four is some kind of trophy? It's the closest trophy you're going to get in a number of years and you have. <laughs> Jamie O'Hara, wonderful to have you on. Can't wait to listen to you tonight in Sports Bar. What time does it start? 10 o'clock. A good in. time to turn over and listen to Sports <laughs> too. Jamie, I still love you. Speak to you very, very soon. You Jamie later. O'Hara there, or James, the Spurs fan. You lot behind the glass used to be my friend. Do, do you know what it is, right? You know when you talk about the start of the season, you do your prediction, as you said, the top four was supposed to be Manchester City, up Liverpool, United and Chelsea. And everyone said, right, Arsenal would finish fifth or sixth. So when where Arsenal looked like they're going to finish fifth, which is exactly where I thought they'd finish, obviously, of course, they gave themselves an opportunity to get into that top four. It weren't meant to be. But it can't all of a sudden then be failure because... They had no European football this season, of course, so they've got themselves back into Europe by having that, that one game a week. You can't all of a sudden know it's failure, they're falling off a cliff, they're terrible, because they're exactly where probably, I'd, I'd say 90% of people would have thought they would have finished at the start of the season. Talk Sport Breakfast with Laura Woods, Monday to Wednesday morning, 6 till 10, on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app, and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.